Hey guys, I also wanted to talk about beauty. I wanted to talk about this, the um, stereotypical um, beauty standards, which can be annoying. You know, um, beauty is so subjective, but we're constantly fed this very, um, you know, I think everything a conspir- is a conspiracy, and I think all these big brand names, um, whether it be expensive or not, you know, from like Walmart clothes to like Gucci clothes, they use models that, and they have been using models, like nowadays they're changing, thankfully, but there's still a predominance of the stereotypical beauty standards, right? You never see like a fat person modeling for Gucci. Like why, why, like, why not, right? Um, why isn't there... Um, well, what is fat? Again, like, that's so subjective, you know? Someone who is into, you know, a five foot seven guy who weighs 300 pounds, to them, that's not fat. Now, if someone is 400 pounds, five foot seven, then maybe that is fat. And for others, 300 pounds is obese, right? It's like, it's so subjective. And I understand the whole health issue now going, like, I understand the health concerns of someone weighing 300 pounds with that height. But take out the health issue. Like, pretend there's no health um, thing going on. Like, there are people who are attracted to more someone with more pounds on them and why that are there that that can be beautiful for a lot of people there's not enough variety and there's not enough diversity and it's a way for the elites um to contribute to separation and people being depressed and yeah you know these hypocritical um you know companies brands um They're just, you know, they cater to this, the virtue signaling, and they just virtue signal, right? Um, They don't practice what they preach, basically. And I can't believe people fall for these lies. Um, Like, why doesn't Gucci have models who are like, you know, have a lot of pounds on them? Why not? Why not? You know, um, because that that can also be a beautiful body type, despite the health concerns, which is understandable, right? I I don't want to incentivate unhealthiness, but it depends on everyone. People don't want to live so many years. There's people who don't want to be healthy and they want to die young. And is that a bad thing? Like, as long as they're happy, it's not about quantity. It's about quality of life. It's about quality of life. So why shame people for wanting to put on more weight and die younger? Right? Like, I don't know. Um, There's people who don't want to live much, many years, and that's okay, right? Like, besides, we all... Oh man, this is a long topic. I could talk about this for hours. And uh, I don't want to offend anyone. I don't want to enable negative behavior. I don't want to come across like I'm enabling like suicidal tendencies because maybe some people interpret that like, oh, someone who overeats is being su- suicidal in a way, in a passive aggressive way. But it's their life at the end of the day and I don't know. Yeah. We all contribute to the same amount of, I don't know how to say this. We all use the same energy. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, even though it doesn't appear to be that way, we all use the same energy. So no one is who are who is who 
can't judge others, is what I'm trying to say, I guess. And whatever, if you don't agree with something and you think something is bad, then karma is real. Remember that. Cause and effect is real. Yeah, I've seen injustices, and then I've seen... Um, Saturn balance it out. Saturn is equivalent to Venus, although it doesn't come across that way. Um, if you believe in astrology, so yeah, everything is the same, although it appears to be different. Saturn has the same intentions as Venus. Sometimes the high vibration of Saturn has the same intentions as the high vibration of Venus. So, yeah, that's why they're squaring each other. That's why they're both cardinal. Anyways, they're both initiators. So, anyways, I'm going off topic now, and I ramble on a lot, and this is random, but maybe someone relates or understands what I'm trying to say. I don't know. This is just here to express myself. Um, I'm not here to impress anyone. I'm not here for pity to throw pity parties. Um, I'm just here to share, I guess, and maybe someone won't feel as alone with their thoughts. And yeah, that's all I wanted to say. Uh, talk to y'all later. Um, oh, and Happy New Year. Yeah. Talk to you later.